Hey everyone, I'm Chef Tom with All Things Barbecue, and today I'll be preparing a smoke roasted rotisserie chicken. Well, what we have here is a four pound chicken, and I'm just gonna trim up a little bit around the edges, get rid of any excess fat that we don't need. This guy's already in pretty good shape. So what I wanna do before we get some rub on this, is inject it. I want to inject this chicken with some of our Smoke on Wheels barbecue marinade. Uh, it's a really great savory marinade. Uh, you'll pick up on some, some bright citrus flavors, but there's also a lot of garlic, clarified butter in it as well. And before I get down there, I'm just going to work this skin off of the meat. Try not to rip it because I do want it to protect the meat when it's actually cooking. And we'll do the same thing back here, see if we can work around into these legs a little bit. Now once we get this thing all bundled up, it's going to sit really nice and tight. But first let's go ahead and prepare our marinade. Now this is a marinade that I would normally soak pieces in, uh, but since I want to inject it today, what I'm going to need to do is strain off those solids. So we're just going to work the liquid out of here. All right, and I'm gonna save these solids, this paste, because we can actually rub this on the bird as a seasoning. All right, so I'm just gonna work my way into the meat, try to create a small pocket, and then pump it full of the marinade. Get down here in the thigh, try to do the same thing. So this is gonna add a ton of extra flavor and moisture to the meat of this chicken. And what we're going to end up with today is going to be a really beautiful, savory rotisserie chicken. All right, so I think that's enough of our marinade. Now to season the bird, I'm going to take a handful of the solids from the marinade here and add to that some of our Cattleman's Grill Steakhouse seasoning, just to give it a little bit of a salty kick. And I love those herbs in the steakhouse. All right, and this I want to apply directly to the meat underneath the skin. And that's why we've worked that skin away. Try to work that back into all those nooks and crannies. And then one more thing I want to add for a little aroma, some fresh thyme and fresh rosemary. Throw that under the skin as well. And we might as well put the rest of this in the cavity here. We just hit the skin with a little bit of our steakhouse rub. Man, this stuff is great on pork, chicken, steak. It's a really versatile rub, which is one of the reasons that we utilize it a lot in our kitchen. That'll give us some nice color on the outside. 
Now we can't put this thing on the rotis all flopping around, so I'm actually gonna truss this up so it stays nice and tight. I want this skin covering as much of the meat as possible. So I'm gonna take my twine, we'll go behind these legs and just pull them together. Come back around to the back side and flip it over. From here, we're gonna work up around the wings to tuck those in and we'll tie it up top. All right, now that guy's sitting nice and tight and it's ready to go on the spit. It kind of bugs me that this skin doesn't want to stay together, so what I'm going to do is just take one more piece of twine and that'll help that stay in place. I'm going to cook this bird on the classic Joe 2 from Kamado Joe. So we're running a charcoal fire today that we're going to add some wood chunks to. And we have the jotisserie attachment set up so that we can rotis this on the grill today. I'm going to start out by finding out where center is going to be. So once this is set, probably right about there will be good. So we'll lock that in and then get the chicken on here. This should go fairly easily right through the cavity. There we go. gonna squish that too much just want to make sure it stays in place all right let's get this on the grill we're gonna nestle some cherry chunks down into the charcoal then I'll kick on the motor immediately starting to get some smoke off of the cherry wood let's close this up and once it recovers we're gonna run it at 350 degrees our chicken's been on for about an hour, so we want to check on the internal temperature. The breasts are perfectly done. Let's check on our thighs. 165, right where we want them. All right, we got the bird off the spit, so let's get our twine off of here. And we can remove those herbs from under the skin. Let's say we slice into this and see just how good it is. Mm, nice and juicy in there. Fully cooked, plenty of juice left. That's perfect. Mm. Picking up on the citrus out of that marinade as well. And definitely getting the aroma of the herbs love the smoke flavor on it as well just a little bit of cherry smoke goes a long way on this this piece of meat it's a really beautiful color finishing here and you know what colors up really quick I mean it doesn't even take five minutes for it to start to brown once it's in there but the internal temperature really catches up and everything evens out so that nothing's burnt and everything is fully done Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the subscribe button. And if you have any questions or comments or there's anything you'd like to see me cook, let me know in the comment section down below. For more recipes, tips, and techniques, head over to thesauce.atbbq.com. All things barbecue, where barbecue legends are made.